Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 964 of 1000 is Yotam Gingold. Hey, Yotam. Hello. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me. Of course. Our randomly generated suggestion is polishing. P-O-L-I-S-H-I-N-G, polishing. Ooh. I, uh, I think that company-wide email was directed to me. Well, I mean, I, it was company-wide, so it yeah, went but to it all was, of us. Yeah, it went to all of us, but uh, it was, it was my, my car that set it off. I, that I, was I know your... it. I know it. Well, you can't, you can't park in Harrison's parking space, man. That's why they, I mean, he's the CEO. You, I mean, were you trying to get fired? <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to get fired, but I mean, look, cut, cut a guy some slack, you know? I was late to a meeting and I, I got this reputation. I'm trying to kick it. It's my New Year's resolution. Okay. Well, you can't, I mean, you know, as your, as your coworker and friend, you can't get rid of one bad reputation by doing something else that you get a bad reputation for. That doesn't, that's not, that's not good. I mean, now you get, you know, if, if, if it's true and they know it's you parked in his space, then now you've got a reputation as the guy who like flouts authority. But is on time to meetings. I mean, one, one step at a time. Well, okay. But I mean, what are you going to do now to get rid of the. <sighs> it was a company wide email. I think it was like, you know, kind of a warning. Sure, sure. I, that maybe, makes sense. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Harris's uh, New Year's resolution is to be nicer to his subordinates. God, I hope so. I mean, for your sake, for all of our sakes, but just... Uh, uh. Well, yeah, I'm trying noticed? to think how, how that balances out. Like, rep, like, so if you have a reputation now as somebody who's on time to meetings... Yeah, let me ask you something. Let me ask yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed my punctuality? Uh, yeah, honestly, when I think about it now, I, you have been, I, yeah, you've been I, on time lately. Um, I don't, for me, that's not the very... whole, the whole violating the a perk of the CEO is like taking up more room in my space as far as my evaluation of you as a person right now. It just feels to me like it outweighs the punctuality. Thing. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't what I was working on all year. You were working on the punctuality. I was working on the punctuality. I think you need to expand your things that you work on if you really want to balance out the whole taking parking space thing. I mean, if, like if you were the guy who volunteered to take the extra food from the weekly meeting to the homeless shelter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be then good. Then that, like, I'm, let me do the math in my head. Like, just, okay. The moral punctual, calculus. How, how, homeless shelter guy that's starting to even up in my head like i still think of you as the guy who took the ceo's parking space but uh, but it's like balance there okay you're you're kind of you're really freaking me out here i didn't think it was that big of a deal now you're saying it's as big a deal as taking food to a homeless shelter oh, it's complicated mathematics uh i mean i don't want, i don't want you to think of me as the guy who's always naysaying you know because i'm also the guy who you can come to for advice about it I mean, what, how do you see me? me right? Right. I'm, I'm seeing you as judging. kind of judging a little bit big brothery. God, I appreciate you. Know. I mean, I was just letting you in on something that didn't bother me that much. That That's company true. wide email was to me. I was flippant. The last thing I want to be is the guy who's a naysayer and judgmental. The, the last Look, I've got, couple, to... I've got a couple of tickets to, to the 76ers game Friday night. Can I give those to you? Does that feel like a like a generous guy kind of thing to do? So maybe it's I'm generous guy and come to information versus the other stuff. Okay, you're you're asking me. Yeah. Black guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yitong. Uh Very fun. Uh, is there anything I can plug for you in the description of the video? You know, let's put a link up to my uh, improv group, the Retro Sessionists, here in Retro Session, DC. <laughs> Fantastic, I will. Uh, well, thank you again for doing that. And, uh, thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye now.